hi and welcome back so in this video we're going to see how you can install any script on a subdomain so i want to use magento but if you want to install wordpress well and good the process is just the same so before you even get started you have to know that running something like magento on a shared web hosting is a bad idea because at some point if your store gets popular and not even that popular you're gonna get an email from them telling you that hey man you're using so much of our so much of our resources you need to upgrade or move so if i were you and i'm planning to run something like that i would just go for a vps and vps is very affordable these days if you go to valtra you're going to find a five dollar server five dollar server is enough for you to run magento the only advice i would give you is don't install Magento and run it on Apache and Nginx. You can use a Vesta CP. Vesta is a control panel, a free control panel. And if you use it, just make sure when you're installing it, you install the Nginx plus PHP FPM. And that will enable you to run any website with very minimal resources. Like I run my WordPress website right now on, uh, on Vultra using the same setting, PHP FPM and Nginx. And I mean... The resources that i'm consuming are so minimal i can install so many more websites and i'm not using an expensive server it's very affordable so if you want to run things like this just start using vps it's not even that complicated and after i do this tutorial on bluehost the next one i'm going to do is going to be about Vultra and how you can install your website how you can run any website on a vps but i'm going to use Vultra as my as my demo because it is the one that i currently use i personally like to tell people about things that i've used i don't tell people about things i haven't used so that's why i'll be using Vultra. i've also used digital ocean but not as much as Vultra. the skills you're going to learn in that course i haven't created it yet they will be transferable to any vps that you'll be using whether it's digital ocean or any of those others so that's it for the intro part so let's just go ahead and inst install magento on a subdomain and I'm just going to start by clicking on one click installs and then of course let me run down the scripts so that I can find the one that I want which is Magento and I'm going to choose I don't know whether Magento 2 is here I can see Magento 1.9 I can see Magento 2 is there a search no there is no search Oh, who cares? I'll just use the Magento 1.9. But if you wanted to install Magento 2, maybe you'd have to install it manually. If you're using your own VPS, you just you just download it from Magento website, then you install it. So I'll click on install to install the Magento 1.9. Just click on get started. And of course, you can see the process is just the same. You select a domain or a subdomain and let's look at the subdomain that i had created called tests i don't know how it was called but it has something to do with dot club yeah abc dot club so i can use abc dot club and i don't want to install it in a director in a directory i'll just install it on the root and i'll go next and then you can give your website the information that you want for it, like the admin first name. I'll just call it admin. Admin last name. Sys. And then the email address. And then the admin username. Yeah, I'll just leave it as admin. But of course, you need to change yours. And then I will use password as my password. Of course, you have to use something that's secure. And if you already have a database created, you can use that database right here. Just put the username, the password, and the user. Just put the credentials for your database there. But I want the system to create a new database for me. So I will go next. So... Let's just wait for it to install Magento for us. We can see it's at 45%. Let's wait for it to install. And then we're going to go into our Magento site. So you can see the installation failed, probably because of the resources. 
there are probably certain limits in the PHP P file that I can't get access to. So if you want to do something like this, you probably have to do it manually. And the way that you do that, you'll just download Magento and then you put Magento inside of your, inside of the directory that you want to install it. And then you'd create a database and connect to that database. And that will work because it doesn't have to use any scripting to do that. You'll just be installing Magento. If you want to run an e-commerce website using Magento, the last place you should be looking into is a shared web hosting. Just use VPS because VPS has become very affordable. I mean, Valtra even has a $2.50 plan. It isn't really as expensive as, as it used to be. So nowadays, you can run your website on a VPS uh, at a more affordable cost than you'd run it on any shared web hosting like let's let's take for example wp engine there are wordpress intensive let me just call it wordpress intensive web host and their plans don't i don't think they have a plan that is less than 20 dollars so if you want to run your website there you have to pay so much money for those services but for what purpose really you can just do the same thing on a vps i mean i'm telling you i run my website on Vulture. Okay, and I'm using the two 250 server. I'm just doing an experiment with that to see how much how much traffic that can support. And if I get to a point where I see that that is just not enough for my website anymore, I'm going to upgrade. But as per now, that's what I'm using. Uh, I used to receive once in a while, your website is down errors when I was using Bluehost, which were very rare. And I have to comment Bluehost on that. But nowadays I don't receive those errors. And the secret is very simple. I mean, regardless of what some people, some web admins will, will say out there, don't use Apache on your web host. Don't use it. I mean, if you have a small VPS, don't use Apache. It's going to consume so much resources. And why are you going to, to use Apache when well, you can use Nginx with Vesta CP? And Vesta CP comes with the configurations ready. You don't have to configure anything. You just install Vesta CP. Make sure when you're installing it, you choose the option for an Nginx and Apache Nginx and PHP FPM. Because if you choose the one for Nginx and Apache and you want to run it on a on a server that has less than 2 GB, you're going to you're going to experience website outages after every three hours, you know? So just take my advice. If you're going to use a VPS and you're running WordPress, just forget about Apache. Okay? I know there are people who love it, people who've used it, and it's a great, it's a great, great, great web server if you have a lot of memory. But if you don't, don't use it. Use Nginx and PHP FPM. And the configurations are already there on the configurations are already there on Vesta CP. So the keywords for you are a VPS and a Vesta CP and Nginx and PHP FPM. When you're installing Vesta CP, that's what you need to use. The configurations are already there on the Vesta CP panel. And I'm going to do a tutorial about this after I'm done with editing these Bluehost videos. And I'm not even going to try and rectify this because I don't really need Magento for anything right now. I was just showing you how to install it. And if the installation is not successful, then there's nothing I can do about it right now. So that's going to mark the end of the tutorials in this Bluehost tutorial. And in the next video, I'm just going to come in and remove the domain I assigned. And just finish up the course. That's all I will be doing in the next video. I won't be teaching you anything new. So if you have any questions, make sure you let me know. And I will see you in the next video. So I'll see you in that next video.